Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. In our last class, we saw how to create the account creation of the banking system. In this tutorial, I am going to teach how to make a withdraw and deposit methods of the banking system. Okay, okay. Let me see how to do this task. First, we will we'll see how to work with deposit. After complete the uh, deposit function, after that, we'll see how to make a uh, withdraw. Okay, okay. Let me go to our tutorial. So let's close the form first. Here, notice that here this will be the exit button i haven't tried the code for it i will write uh, in this tutorial for exit button save button already wrote the code in our last tutorial okay let's close the window here this one for our save button all the required field are uh, equal the data will be saved in our database here what I'm going to do is another thing exit me just this dot close so close this is a particular form you can call this method this dot close okay okay let me go go to our withdraw okay once you register the account when you are going to withdraw the money sorry first we will see before withdraw deposit okay uh, once you create the account after just after create the account you have you are going to deposit the money so what i'm going to do is we have to create the uh, another table in our database that we that is a transfer here okay this is the table for the customers this is table belongs to account another table which is a transaction the transaction table the transaction id will be there account id will be there date will be there balance will be there deposit will be there withdraw will be there okay here transaction id mean this transaction id account id being uh, this particular account id the date transaction date balance and deposit these are the relevant field also there and withdraw okay so when the customer uh, going to deposit the amount so the transaction id is added something else out of the, the particular customer's uh, number and date the particular date will be added and balance balance mean the current balance what is the amount of the customer's current balance after that deposit what is the amount is going to this uh, deposit okay that is the only stuff we are, we are going to add our database the same table we are going to create in our database table which name is transaction we already created me these two, two tables as well uh, customer tables and account table okay let me back to our database first this is our database here click on the po bank here this is this is my sample bank uh, database database here new because i'm going to create another table here sorry before here the table will be here here i'm going to create i'm going to determine uh, how uh, how many columns we need so it's default it's come as four here i need one two three four five six columns i need okay so let's make the number as six and here we need a table name also it asking i just copy this table name the table name i'm going to simple letter so it's so easy stuff for that and the same name i'm going to copy here transaction okay now here click go that's the things i'm going to click. successfully our table is created now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the columns first column will be transaction id tx id id i'm going to be tx id it will be data type will be the default int length will be 11 here i'm going to add as auto number generator okay so i'm going to add here primary key and dot auto number generator okay i'm going to uh, decide to uh, generate the auto number for transaction id 
this will be the transaction ID another one is for account ID so ACC ID this will be the account ID and 11 and after that date date also I'm going to change as watch 215 characters after that balance should be there let me add as a simple BL short form BL and here lock characters after that deposit amount will be there this one will be deposit 11 after that withdraw cash withdraw this also sorry withdraw sorry okay these are the relevant field you must create uh, in our in your database tables these are the relevant columns okay transaction id as well as uh, account id date and balance and deposit and withdraw okay here click save okay successfully added the relevant field these are the this is the structure of the our database table of uh, transaction okay this one will be the primary key you can see the tree over here this will be the primary key i set as a primary key in here uh, transaction id now the same field i'm going to create in our c sharp form so let me back to our uh, c sharp form here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create uh, another new form which is a uh, account sorry deposit so let me put the name as deposit as well click and successfully here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to arrange something else here so click on here and uh, page border i'm going to change as none so okay that's well um now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to add another group box so nice i'm going to make it as a group box now this one will be the group box i'm going to group box now i'm going to add the relevant field before going to add the relevant field i'm going to change the group text uh, to deposit cash deposit it's more nice cash deposit deposit okay now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to add the relevant fields here so first field should be account id so how many fields we need account let me go here account id this one will be not redeem withdraw deposit deposit uh, account deposit so i need these fields also because we no need to put the create the transaction id because of that is a auto increment so it's automatically increment the number when you're going to add the record one by one okay you so that you no need to create the transaction id so you have to starting from here you have to you are starting from here to here okay and from deposit okay until deposit okay so the fields you have to create okay so one two three four account id date transaction date current balance and deposit okay deposit amount okay so here four columns so four fields are there one two three labels four labels as well here one two three then what i'm going to do is i'm going to i need four text boxes as well sorry two text box three text boxes so here let me change the name so we easily identify that this one for account number account number this one for particular date date of the transaction so here balance the current balance here we deposit cash deposit deposit amount. Yeah. deposit amount okay 
okay now i'm going to create the relevant text boxes Let's arrange them in the order. So this one we no need. This is the text box. Sorry. Okay, let me here. Okay. This one will change the name as we arrange a little bit bigger so that these things here we no need the text boxes control for label. Instead of the text box control we pick the another you know, tool which is a date picker this one and i'm picked from the toolbox okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change of each and every name of the text box go to properties here the name default come as this one so let me change as txt ac account number this one t e x t b a l for balance this one t x t d deposit d for deposit okay now i need two buttons this one for search Another button and same thing and copy and paste you can get the another duplicate here you can you have to notice that what is the uh, name coming here here button 2 this one will be button so he easily click on this one and easily you can change the name as uh, deposit Sorry, 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 sorry. This is not the name. This is the text. So deposit. Set. Okay. What is the difference of these two? Why I create these two buttons? Search and deposit. Okay. Anyone can understand this stuff? No. Here, once you enter the account number, what is the relevant balances there? Okay. What is the sufficient balances here? You can check here. Once, uh, once you enter the account number here and you can see the, your balance current balance is uh, coming here and after that you enter the uh, deposit amount and click deposit the account will be at your database table that is the stuff i'm going to do first you have to search the amount current amount you have to search after that you can you have to enter your deposit amount and you can deposit the uh, transaction okay oh, okay guys i hope you you understood so far in our next tutorial i'm going to teach how to write the coding in our deposit cash deposit okay okay thank you for watching uh, if you like my channel please subscribe me